My name is Ilias Logan. I'm a dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, and Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com, and at the time of the making of this film, I have over 6,800 items in my store. Every item I sell comes complete with a certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, and of course, my signature. I'm an expert that has identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over many years, and I'm known worldwide for uh, my expertise. Every coin that I sell comes in a professional coin flip. You see this coin flip preserves the coin. This is a silver coin of uh, Roman Emperor Augustus, by the way. That has a miniaturized description of the, of the larger description that I have here. All professionally done, many times citing a major reference or collection. And on the back you get the historical context of the item you have purchased. So even if you're a brand new collector to this field, or if you want to make a great gift, you, A, you can educate yourself, and B, I believe this is one of the great investment opportunities because most people just don't even know that these coins exist out there. Today, I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Emperor Maxentius. Let me show you a little bit of what he looked like. Maxentius, a portrait looks like this. This is Maxentius for you. I have coins of Maxentius in my store, you may want to check that out. Now let me tell you a little bit about Maxentius. Maxentius was Roman Emperor from 306 to 312 AD. He was the son of former Emperor Maximian and his wife Eutropia, and son-in-law of Emperor Galerius. As his father became Emperor in 285, he was regarded as Crown Prince who would eventually follow his father on the throne. He did not serve in any important military or administrative position during Diocletian and his father's reign. He married Valeria Maximilla, and do the daughter of Galerius, who had two sons. In 305, Diocletian and Maximian resigned, and the former Caesars uh, Constantius and Galerius became Augusti. Although with Constantine and Maxentius two sons of emperors were available, they were left out from the new Tetrarchy, and Severus and Maximinus died were appointed Caesars. When Constantius died in AD 306, his son Constantine I the Great was crowned emperor on July of 25th of 306 AD and subsequently accepted by Galerius into the, new, into the Tetrarchy as Caesar. A group of officers of Roman garrisons turned to Maxentius to accept the imperial purple. Maxentius accepted the honor and promised the donations to the city's troops and was publicly acclaimed emperor on October 28th of 306 AD. The usurpation went without bloodshed. The prefect of Rome went over to Maxentius and retained his office. Maxentius managed to be recognized as emperor in central and southern Italy, in the islands of Corsica, Sardinia and Sicily, and African provinces. Northern Italy remained under the control of the western uh, Augustus Severus, who resided in Milan. Maxentius styled himself Princeps Invictus, undefeated prince, in the hope of obtaining recognition of his reign by a senior emperor Galerius, but he refused to do so. Constantine the Great firmly controlled his father's army and territories, and Galerius could pretend that his accession was part of the regular succession, succession of the Tetrarchy, but neither was the case with Maxentius. He, was, he would be the fifth emperor and he had only a few troops in, at his command. Galer Galerius decided that it would not be too difficult to quell the usurpation, and early in 307, 307 the Augustus Severus marched on Rome with a large army. The majority of this army consisted of soldiers who had fought under Maxentius' father, Maximian, for years, and as Severus reached Rome, the majority of his army went over to Maxentius rightful heir of the former commander, who dealt out a large amount of money. When Maximian himself finally left his retreat and returned to Rome to assume the imperial office once again and support his son Severus, with the rest of his troops re retreated to Ravenna. After the defeat of Severus, Maxentius took possession of northern Italy and assumed the title of Augustus. Maxentius tried to arrange friendly contacts with Constantine the Great. Maximian traveled to Gaul, where Constantine I married his daughter Fausta and was in turn appointed Augustus by the senior emperor. 
but Constantine tried to avoid breaking uh, with Galerius. Maxentius expected an attack along with the eastern flank from Licinius and stationed an army in Verona. Constantine had smaller forces than his opponent Maxentius, who had an equal of approximately 100,000 soldiers to use against his opponents in the north. But Constantine anticipated Maxentius and struck first. The armies of Maxentius and Constantine met north of Rome. Christian tradition claims that Constantine fought under the Labarum in battle, uh, revealed to him in a dream. Constantine's forces defeated Maxentius' troops who retreated to the Tiber and in the chaos of the fleeing army tried to cross the river. Maxentius fell into the water and drowned. So visit my store, trustedcoins.com, and learn more and buy some coins of these emperors and beyond. Thank you.